you're going to succeed or fail, it's because you've put all your chips on the idea. I consider myself very fortunate that I've, I've never, quote unquote, failed in a business venture. Um, that doesn't mean that there aren't ideas that didn't get off the ground, I, but I never took the risk. So uh, what I've always done is take a skill set from the past and then expand upon it. It's, it's different than going into business in a completely different industry and seeing if you can succeed or fail at it. Uh, so to date, I haven't, I've never failed at a business, but I've had ideas that didn't necessarily come true. As a matter of fact, I was cleaning out my office uh, today before this, uh, this discussion, and I found a, a letter from, a, from an attorney, and I was like, why, why did I have this letter from this attorney? When did I, I don't remember hiring a lawyer. It was back when I was in radio and I had this idea to create a software program to make it easier for board operators to edit and mix music on the fly. I thought it was a good idea and so I went and I had the idea and kind of the schematic of what I thought it would look like. I think I, think I got copyright protection on it. And then, you know, the industry came up with something like that and it was called, called Profit was the name of the system. Uh, that we ended up using so there was no need for me to create the product someone else had already thought of it but you know in retrospect it was something that I shouldn't have even considered doing though I knew how to be a board op I knew nothing about computer programming and this book ends with something else that I said earlier which is you should pick something that you're familiar with that you understand I mean the fact that you like food doesn't mean you should open a restaurant that's an actual business and there's nuances to that business that you're going to learn whether you like it or not. And so it's very hard to run a business uh, in any industry nowadays because there's so many nuances to each, each one. So in the case of uh, creating this software program, I knew nothing about it. So I shouldn't have even done it in the first place, but it seemed like a good idea at the time. I don't consider that a failure because it never got off the ground. It's not like I you know, had the product developed and brought it to market and then nobody wanted it. Uh, it was just an idea that never got off the ground. It never got any, had, had any steam. Um, the, the notion of becoming a, an ad agency is also not something that I've, I've failed at because the, the way I operate it is just me. Um, I'm considering expanding and, and maybe having somebody help me out from an administrative standpoint. But I haven't gone to that next level where that is the primary income. And I think that that's the main definition of you're going to succeed or fail, it's because you've put all your chips on the idea. You know, this is what you're going to do. You've got a plan and this is how you're going to make your money. And if it works, you're good. If it, if it doesn't work, you're going to be looking for a job or creating a new product or service. Um, so by that definition, I've, I've never failed. I hope I never do. But if you look at anybody who's been entrepreneurial, who's opened a lot of businesses, they're not all going to work. And that's not a reflection of, of their skill. It's just some ideas take and some don't. And uh, credit to anybody who's got the guts and courage to keep going out there and trying new things until something succeeds. So I love the, uh, the, the debate about failure. You know, is there such, such a thing as failure? You know, or is it just that I, um, oh, what was it, uh, Edison? I, it's, I didn't, um, I forgot what the saying was, but I, I just, I, I failed to create the light bulb uh, X amount of times. I, I forgot the saying, but uh, or I figured I figured X amount of ways not to create the light bulb as opposed to failing. Uh, I, I I don't know. I mean, some of these these cliche statements that are that are cooked up or to make people feel better or to be motivational, and they sell books and DVDs and they're great in seminars. Like you didn't fail. You just figured out a way not to accomplish your goal. No, there's failure sometimes. There are bad ideas like the three-wheeled car. That was a bad idea and it failed. It, it should have failed. But uh, I think that it's nice to have the mentality that every experience, you get something out of it. And so that if you don't necessarily accomplish your goal, it doesn't have to be a bad thing. It could be a learning experience. And we all go through those, uh, whether it's dating or starting a business. So. Um, I don't look down on anybody who's adverse to using the term failure, but I do think there are bad ideas that aren't well thought out and, and the market uh, lets you know whether or not your friends did or your family did, 
the world will let you know if your idea was uh, going to be well received or not. But uh, as far as how you want to frame that in your own mind, hey, look, you know, you call it a failure, don't call it a failure, it matters not to me.